Nation. We're visiting with Jackie Leonard and uh, Ron Garrison, our guests on the conversation this morning from Northwoods Community Realty. And uh, Jackie, uh, good morning. It's good you guys are close because we decided about uh, two minutes ago that you were going to be in studio. How are you? Good. Good. It's been a good morning. Good. It's been great to uh, be able to join you in person here. And uh, your sidekick, Ron Opie Garrison. Oh, good morning. Morning, Greg. How are you, buddy? I'm great. How about you? Good. Good. Great to have you guys along with us this morning. Well, my gosh, it's been a quite a ride, hasn't it, uh, in the real estate business? What is it going on this summer here, Jackie? It, it continues to be uh, a real tough uh, opportunity to be able to get some listings and those types mm-hmm. of things. Give us an update here as we head into fall. Yeah, so going into fall, I expect a lot more listings to be coming on. Um, as we know, if you've been watching the news in the last couple of days, I think that also can create a little volatility in the market because, you know, the stock market's kind of jumping all over the place. And I think maybe some people that didn't know if they wanted to sell, you know, maybe this is, well, maybe I should sell before, you know, the market cools down. I really think going into fall two is where we've always had a higher listing rate going into um, even winter is people come up. They have to do all this work to shut down their cabin down. The kids don't come up to help rake the leaves, and they're like, you know what, we're too old for this. Nobody's coming and using it, and they're not helping us maintain it, and then they'll put it on the market. So I think there's going to be a lot more listings coming on in fall. All right. Well, as I mentioned, I should have started with a little introduction here. I was pushing a few buttons behind me. But, uh, Jackie, uh, talk a little bit about your office. Jackie, the owner-broker of Northwoods Community Realty. And then we'll set the stage with Opie here, too, for a couple of minutes. How long have you had your office? I know you've been in business a long time, but your new office here on 4th Street, Jackie. It's been a few years already, hasn't it? It has. So um, it is our 10th year of Northwoods Community Realty, and I started just by myself in a little tiny office with a secretary thinking I was going to get more time to myself if I had a full-time secretary and uh, went out on my own in a in actually a horrible market. Um, but it was when we had a, a crazy high listing. Mm-hmm. Um, and I remember we were cutting logs and making signs out of, uh, you know, trees. <laughs> and um, I think at one time <clears throat> we had made like 400 signs and, and it was a time that we had so many signs out there and so many listings. And I just look back and I'm like, wow, what 10 years has done in the market. But that at that time it was, you know, you would sit on a listing for a year mm-hmm. and it, mm-hmm. think nothing of it. And now you're lucky if it makes two days or yeah. a day. So as you look back on those years, uh, did you ever think you'd be to the point where, my gosh, you can hardly keep up with business. You have a number of great folks working with you. Uh, what are your thoughts over those 10 years, Jackie, as we come to today? Yeah, I just look back. My husband and I were just talking about it this morning. It's our anniversary today and um, he was actually home and um, you know we just look back and 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 it's something that um, I reflect on that all the time that you know it's just been an amazing ride actually and and I think when you're passionate about something and you're passionate about what you do you know everything just kind of flows together and I think you also attract you know other people that are really passionate about what they do and um, and provide great service. You have a wonderful staff of professional realtors, and one of them is uh, Ron Garrison. Uh, Opie, uh, you've been with Jackie now quite a few years, haven't you, Opie? Yeah, I think it's probably like eight years, Greg. I, mm-hmm. I kind of joked when I started this, I thought I'd be something to keep myself occupied. I joked around Susan would pack my lunch and put my shoes by the door, and <laughs> it was a subtle hint to go do something. And when I started, she says, well, a 10-year gig. And I thought, oh, my gosh, there's no way I'm going to be doing this 10 years, and here I am at eight years eight now, years. so probably will be. Yeah, you have so much experience uh, op- that uh, with the home building industry, of course, all your years with Tomahawk Log Homes. You bring a lot to the table when you help folks out uh, with property, and uh, I think that's probably one of the great things that Jackie likes about you. It, it's been a great fit. As you know, we have a little backing, banking background and yep. some zoning. I worked as a builder's association and T-Log, so it, it was a... Uh, I looked at what I might want to do for my second career, and it was a it was a very good fit. Yeah. And I enjoy Jackie's with our office and professionalism, and we uh, we always put our best foot forward. Absolutely, you guys have a great reputation in our Northwoods area, and uh, Jackie, that's what you worked so hard for over the last ten years. Talk about your other staff members. Yeah, so um, we have 
eight agents right now. We um, also started the Lake Tomahawk office. So we have right. Brenda and John up at the Lake Tomahawk office. If anybody ever drives by, we got a huge sign and it's a nice little community there. And it, it was a nice fit, you know, to expand into the Northwoods a little further and have another location. And, and it's very visible there. And then in our Tomahawk office, we have Keith Hansey, Dion Graber, um, Angela Marino is a new addition. She's actually our um, our office manager, and she's also licensed. Um, Samantha White had just started recently, and Keith Hansey, and right. um, Keith's usually on the radio, and he's uh, moving his daughter into a dorm today. So, oh boy, <laughs> yeah, that, remember those days? Oh, oh I certainly do, yeah. Greg. He made my heart feel good. He sent a picture. He had a scooter and a rug and dressers <laughs> and all that. I'm so glad I'm not doing mm-hmm. that and sweating. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Uh, you know, you have a young man that works for you, Brent, that does such a great job on all your things that you do on the social media side of things. I love his pictures that he does from the drone for your property. Yeah, he does. An amazing job and and Brent has um, always enjoyed his job you know anytime we're in the office he has such a great personality and he just really keeps it light and he's always saying something that just makes you laugh in the morning and um, he, the drone stuff that he's been doing and we have a new project that he's been working on you know to really highlight the Tomahawk area so um, we're trying to do almost all of the lakes in the Tomahawk area and highlight the boat landing and highlight um, yes. different areas of Tomahawk of interest. And you can literally take a tour um, of all the different um, 360 tours of of every lake in the area. So it's something that he's been working on and he works really hard at that. And we'd be excited to, um, you know, to launch that. Yeah, really impressive, Ron, isn't it, what he does? Yeah, I give Jackie a lot of credit for the commitment to have a full-time staff member that just does social media and drone, and it really, I think, sets our office apart from some of our others in that Jackie's been proactive and, you know, how powerful social media has been. Mm-hmm. And uh, we like to think we're on the front end of that curve here locally to, to really promote our, our clients' yeah, properties. We, and uh, let's talk about your website just a minute, too, as uh, we do that before we get into some of the items we wanted to talk about today. You know, websites are a big thing in real estate, and you guys have a great site. And then with the pictures that uh, Brent does and all the other things, not only overhead, but the other pictures, uh, it is uh, quite a draw, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And we we really pride ourselves on the quality of the photos. So um, as real estate agents, you know, I I know some people are just better at taking photos than others. And Brent really takes our photos and he retouches them. Every every photo is looked at before it gets put on the Internet. And I think that's so important just to keep that quality. And that is that's the first thing out there that people see. And that's what's going to draw them to. Um, come and look at a listing, and you you just really want to make sure that those are very professional. Yeah, and uh, hope that is a huge draw, isn't it? When you can deal with people people that may never have seen the property in person, but they can look at it and say, "Oh my gosh, this is a place that I certainly want to make an appointment and be able to view." Yes, and all our offices, we're willing to go out and video something, and uh, maybe head off if they're boy they really think they want to drive up and look at it. We'll run out and take a video. So does it seem like a fit that you want to make that trip mm-hmm. or not? Or it's not in my wheelhouse, but we're all very willing to do that and, and work individually with our clients. I suspect, too, one of the things we want to talk about is acreage today. That has to be really handy when you're looking at large parcels for folks to be able to look overhead and say, oh, this is what you're talking about. Here, here this is partly what it, there is a lake on here or a stream or whatever. Yeah, and that's the beauty of Brent. Uh, when we get a new listing, he's he'll go out and do the drones. We might have a 40-acre parcel and shows where the hunting cabin, some food plots mm-hmm. or some lowlands, the walking trails, and give somebody a really good perspective of it before they have to make the four-hour drive or not to see if if it's in them and I just had a 40 acre listing this week and, and Dion did as well with cabins and we both had accepted offers probably within two days of them being listed wow. significantly over ask on both properties yeah well property is going quickly if you can get your hands on it you have to act pretty fast don't you yeah and if, if someone's you know out there like Jackie was mentioning and gosh we just got busier and we're not using this as much as we thought and maybe I should at least get an idea what it's worth in mm-hmm. today's market it's a great time to, to stick your foot in the water and give give our office a call for that mm-hmm. sure e- especially vacant land so I've been doing this almost 18 years and I look back and vacant land you know, really took a hit. It probably took a bigger hit than almost anything else in our market. You know, vacant land, because I call it the um, 
you know, it's the poor man's dream, right? Hey, I want this acreage and a hunting cabin in the middle of nowhere. Um, but it's typically that person that would be interested in that is not really at a high income level, possibly. Right. And so it's always been something that has sat longer on the market. You know, you would you would list 40 acres and I mean, it would be out there forever. And if it was a little elevated in price with a hunting cabin or something like that, or if you had huge tracts of land, then it would really sit because, oh, am I going to spend $300,000 on this hunting land in a cabin? Or is my wife going to want a $300,000 <laughs> lake home? And we all know who wins out in that yeah. one. Yeah, we do. Don't we hope? We, we do, Greg. We, we, we got, definitely do. Got that figured out. Yeah. But, <laughs> so... Vacant land is a premium right now. So if somebody has some vacant land they're thinking about in large parcels, boy, now would be a good time to call you guys, huh? Yeah, I, I really think it's a time if you are not using it and it's something you just have not been out to. I was out to um, the Tower Road area yesterday. Mm -hmm. I have two listings out there, and they're very nice 40s, but they are literally in the middle of nowhere. And I went to go you know, in there with my truck, and everything is overgrown, and it's so hard to you know, look at vacant land. Uh, this time of year because we had a really good growing season and people need to get in there and cut their trails. So vacant land is a lot of work. I think people don't realize, you know, what the commitment is. I mean, you got to get those trails cut. You got to keep that stuff open. So if you haven't been able to keep up your property and, you know, you just haven't been using it, um, it's a great time to move it. Hey, Ron, are, are those things that Jackie is talking about, those are really good items to have done on vacant parcels, makes them much more valuable when the roads are already laid out and those types of things? It's click. significantly, Greg. Yeah. You, you know, you you know, if you have a 40 acres without a trail or anything in it, it's like you park there and you're like, well, where do I go or what do I do yeah. and how do I utilize the land? When you have a network of trails and some food plots, or whether you just like to walk your dog or bird hunt or whatever it may be, so much more useful to have those done. And when we come out and do a market mm -hmm. analysis, whether it be a cabin or a house or vacant land, we'll give some suggestions that would be a good idea before you list or as we're listing, and maybe we can help you with some of our service professionals. Right. But we, we definitely try to give some tips uh, what's going to harvest the most dollars for you when you list. Sure, and the experience that you guys have, you have those contacts that you know where somebody's coming in and they have this idea, you can say, hey, call XYZ company. They do a great job on this, or, or call this company. They'll do stuff with gravel or you know whatever else type of things, Jackie. Those are great mm -hmm. contacts that you've made over the years. Yeah, that, that's um, definitely a plus. We've even um, had some that were, you know, they didn't even have a place to get a parking pad off of the road. Yeah. And so, you know, we can get a code to get a, at least get, some, get somewhere it. to park because some of them are off of, like the one comes to mind was off of Highway 8. I'm like, well, where do you park off of there? It's just not, right. not a great situation. So yeah. that's definitely a plus. Good. Well, acreage is something that we wanted to talk about today. If anybody has parcels of acreage, I, are you looking always for larger parcels or two, three acres really nice too? What do you, what do you guys think is hot right now? I, I think the thing that's been really hot is the one that you Opie had and the one that Deanne had. You know, we're just 40 acres, just very reasonably okay. priced, you know, like in the 130, 140 range. And it had a little cabin and an outhouse. You know, people just want somewhere to come up here and get away from things and be in the middle of nowhere and just enjoy the north woods and have a place to go with their families i really think that that's what people have been looking for uh, during this covid because yeah. and i think it's 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 just only going to continue i think the covid kind of ramping up here again and people starting to lock right. down again i think it's deja vu for people and they just know that they're probably not going to be able to take that vacation that mm -hmm. they were going to take and so and and they're saving money they're saving money not driving to work with gas sure. and they're saving money not going on other vacations and doing other things and you know this is a great opportunity for them to purchase something a lot of people get some out of the big city too open they get up here and they can uh, you know get on their four-wheeler and ride around or take mm -hmm. the dog for a walk as you mentioned of those types of things so yeah are and I, I really hear family 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 and i right now greg the one that bought my property she was so excited she said it's going to be a legacy for our grandkids mm -hmm. somewhere we can come together we can just sit at the campfire and, and be together as a family and we're not worried about being out and about and it's really kind of brought i think some people closer together right mm -hmm. good all right well we wanted to talk about acreage that was one of the things on the topics we have about 10 minutes left the other thing we want to talk about this time of year is uh lakes and lake levels and water levels in the lakes uh lake nicomas is probably the most popular lake here in our tomahawk area don't you guys think 
Yeah, I would I would agree. Yeah. We have some beautiful, you know, we have our Lake Alice's and Mohawks right. and Clears. We have some beautiful lakes here. But, you know, being, I think the big allure of Nokomis is there's nine or ten places to grab a sandwich and a beer and an ice cream cone or a steak and it's so much to offer. Right. And there's a lot of places where you can pull up with your boat and, you know, picnic on a, the WVIC island or there's just a lot of opportunities where some of our waterways are all private all the way around it. And there's no place to pull up with your boat. So Nokomis has a lot of things to offer. Sure. All right. You guys have any property available on Nokomis right now? Or is that a tough, tough sell? It's a tough gig it's right tough now. Gig I mean, it's a it's a listing game, and uh, if you, you know, Jackie's uh, always an advocate of let's price the property properly, and but properly is higher than it was. It's probably fifteen, twenty percent higher than it was eighteen wow. months ago. But let's not price it forty percent high and let it go be the day old donut. Right. Let's price it right. Let's get some interest. Maybe get some multiple offers and elevate for the seller the best we can but uh, let's not be unrealistic when we list something sure and that's why you turn them so fast jackie huh mm-hmm. yeah. yeah i i think that is probably something that has happened in this market is you know you have sellers that are like yeah i'll sell if i can get this crazy amount mm-hmm. right so there's some listings that are coming on they're just throwing them out there at just some really high prices and to me you know maybe that's somebody that just like well if i sell i sell if i don't i don't Mm -hmm. um it can hurt you um we look back as real estate agents you can look at the history of what something was listed for and some of these listings that are coming on now i'm like oh i remember that listing and i could look back and i could tell you that it was on and off the market for five years and so it was something that they listed in the crazy market like in probably 06 and then they had it listed and then they came down in price the next year and the next year and then and then it really was the day old donut so it can affect your your marketability down the road Mm -hmm. by throwing it out there at a crazy price because real estate agents remember those listings and it's like well why didn't that sell and you think something was wrong with it so we really um you know advocate for looking at the comps and that's that's what tells us what sure. things are going to sell for. And the problem is is that the comps are a little behind because the market's been growing so quickly. Um, so we've been padding those prices a little bit, putting it out there, and then you know you just wait for you know hopefully mul- multiple offers will come in if you've priced it correctly. I always like to create excitement and not have people look at it and go, oh my gosh, that's crazy overpriced, and right. and they don't even look at it because they just think it's more than. Nobody, nobody wants to pay more than what the market is, right? Exactly. right? And so if you look at something at a consumer or me as a real estate agent, just even feeling good about writing an offer on something that you feel is crazy overpriced, you know, that's where I think people could hurt themselves. Sure. Our uh, Friday morning conversation, Jackie Leonard and uh, Opie Garrison from Northwoods Community Realty. We want to talk a little bit about water levels and some of the disclosures that you guys deal with, that you have the expertise that you can uh, manage with prospective buyers on uh, lake property because that's that's quite a bit different uh, than it is uh, in some cities. It is, Greg, and and Nokomis is kind of a unique thing in that it's part of the WVIC waterways and the willow feeds to us. We feed you know the river and it goes down the bay and keeps working. And uh, Jackie's, we always we have the uh, different GIS maps from not only when the water is high, but maybe in 2010 was a really bad year. So let's show our client that. So are you comfortable if the water goes down seven feet, mm-hmm. which it can? Mm-hmm. Uh, it may not be till August or September, but this can certainly happen. And some will say we like to kayak and we're okay, or others I've got a big ski boat and that doesn't work for me. So by having the knowledge of the local lakes and trying to be upfront and here's what the pluses and minuses are, and ultimately the customer makes the decision, but be very transparent and, and showing them the maps at different times and, and levels has really been a good tool for us. Yeah, and that's a fair thing to do for somebody who's coming and does not know. They they come in June and the water is, uh, you know, over full or plump full, and then they come back in fall and it's down quite a bit. So those are great disclosures, and that's what makes you guys one of the best, uh, you know, realty offices in our area. So. We have a lot of a lot of knowledge in our office. You know, everybody's <clears throat> local and lived here for many years and recreates and uh, networks and all mm-hmm. the things. So it it's a good fit. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we have a couple of minutes left, uh, Jackie and Opie. What uh, what else? Looking down toward the fall, what are you guys seeing, Jackie, this fall? Do you think we're we're in for another between now and say next summer? It's going to be a busy winter season here for our uh, you know prospects. Yeah, I really think the market's going to continue to be very hot for 
listings. I think it's going to be something that COVID is going to continue to keep people from doing other things in mm-hmm. the world. You know, a lot of people travel abroad too, and those countries are being locked down and it's going to keep them here. It's going to keep their money in the United States and hopefully, hopefully local to Tomahawk. And I think it's just something that will continue for, for probably another year and possibly sure. two years. And it always, you know, I think the up has been, you know, coming up quite a bit and it's going to take a long time for it to, you know, slowly go down. Right. I don't think this is going to be like a, like a cutoff. And right. I know the stock market definitely can affect that, but I think that there's a lot of people that are close to retirement retirement mm-hmm. age, all the baby boomers, um, there's, uh, they're also, what they've been telling us is that there's a lot of um, baby boomers' parents that are I- in their 80s, 90s that are passing away, and they were the savers and the, you know, investors, and, you know, now they're coming into money, too. So we definitely um, think that that has a huge impact, effect on people being able to come in and paying cash for these properties, and that's that's definitely what we've seen. Sure, and if folks are not able to pay cash, hope uh, you guys have good relationships with financials here in our area, and interest rates are still pretty darn attractive. They really are, Greg, and we're, we really believe in working with a local bank. They, they know the ins and outs with property maintenance agreements and egresses and the areas, and local appraisers are not ordering an appraiser from Appleton that doesn't know our market. Right. And I, I personally have been feeling a lot of, too, that there's so many people that can work remote so they're saying, well, I'm going to sell my house in Chicago that's for 400 grand. It wasn't much in a subdivision, but gosh, look what I can buy up north. Yeah. And I can work remote now, and the, the Wi-Fi is getting more prevalent. And I think that's what's driving our market a lot, too, is people are saying, if I don't have to live here and I don't have to raise my kids here, I'd rather go north and experience the, the woods and the lakes and all the things that we're so lucky to enjoy every day here. Sure. Exactly. Well, we're just about out of time, uh, Jackie. Let's let's talk a little bit about phone numbers for here in Lake Tomahawk. Let's talk about the website a little bit, the best way for folks to contact you guys. Yeah, so locally here, it's 715-453-2673. And you can visit uh, us on our website at northwoodscommunityrealty.com. And that has both of our offices and all their information on there. And it's the whole entire Northwood. So it is all of the listings on there. So when you go to our website, you will get a big map with all of the dots on there. So that's all of the listings from all agents in the in the greater Northwoods MLS. And I guess just one thing I wanted to note it on our greater Northern MLS, I'm actually on the board and you know we're working on a bunch of different things. One, we're gonna do a lot of advertising just as realtors in the North Woods, you know, what we offer and why you should list with a local real estate agent in the North Woods. Um, We just know our market and we know what we're doing here. There's been a lot of agents coming from outside markets because they have nothing to sell in their market in Milwaukee. So they're up here and they're selling stuff and, you know, maybe they have a house on Nokomis, but do they know the disclosures that they're supposed to be doing? And we've run into that a lot. And that's why we're talking about the water levels. I've had people call me um, or I see them on the Facebook page and they're just irate because, you know, my boat was sitting out of the water when I came up. And, you know, we've been very, very lucky with Nokomis over the last couple right. of years, but right. it definitely, it can go up and down. And, you know, if you're not covering your, your buyers with that, that definitely can come back to kick you in the butt. But um, so check out our website. We have um, both offices on there and, um, or you can stop by. We're always, we're always mm-hmm. there. Oh, I see your note up that you have, uh, you know, people on duty. So yep. stop by the office. Good. Hey, you guys, thanks. Thanks for running over too. I'm glad you're only a block away, Jackie. Happy anniversary. And uh, pleasure to have you guys on the uh, Friday morning forum. Hope you always good to see you. Thank you, Greg. We enjoyed. Jackie, yep. Thank you guys very much. Yep. Thanks, All Greg. Right. Have a good weekend. Bye. All right. Our guests on the Friday morning forum, Jackie Leonard and Ron Opie Garrison from Northwoods Community Realty, northwoodscommunityrealty.com. 453-2673 is the number to call.